Number 8. This is 1997 D. Lincoln sent struck on a 4 a.m. planchet, graded as MS-65 read by PCGS. Neither Stax Powers nor PCGS explained for which coin this irregular size planchet was intended. Nevertheless, it must be slightly smaller than penny blank, as some letters of some motto are struck off the flam. Central reliefs are sharply struck, so it was sold for $192. Number 7 here is 1990p Canada of dollar, struck 20% off center towards 11 o'clock, graded in mean state 66 by NGC. Error coins are coins that have some sort of anomaly or mistake in their production, which can make them valuable to collectors. In this case, the error involves the coin being struck off center, meaning that the design is not properly centered on the coin, most likely due to die misalignment. This error half dollar ended up selling for $660. Number 6 here is 1983p Washington Quarter broad struck and with partial brocage graded in mean state 65 by Anix. A brocage error occurs when a coin is struck with another coin or the same coin that has already been struck leaving an impression of one side of the coin on the other side. A partial brokerage error means that only a portion of one side of the coin has been affected by the error. To determine the specific value of your Washington quarter with partial brokerage error, it is advisable to have it authenticated and graded by a reputable coin grading service. This error quarter ended up selling for $168. Number 5. This is 1964 D. Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet graded in a mean state 64 by PCGS. Well centered in strike, virtually the entire Lincoln design is evident despite the slight size differential between the scent dies and dime planchet. Only at the borders do we note a touch of softness, but even there, at least partial detail is evident to the design elements. Satiny and smooth with dusting of pale gold to otherwise light silver gray surfaces. It was sold for $1920. Number 4. This is 1965 Washington Quarter. Struck on a 90% silver planchet. PCGS assigned AU details as it comes with rim damage. A transitional wrong planchet error that's result of an old standard 90% silver planchet intended for the coinage of 1964, getting into the production cycle for 1965 for the 1965 coins that were to be struck on the new copper nickel clad blanks. Scarce and always in demand, it was sold for $5,040. Number 3 here is 1976S Bicentennial Quarter double struck on a clad dime, highly elusive double denomination coin in PR67 cameo condition. According to Heritage Auction, the struck clad dime was overstruck twice by proof 1976S Bicentennial Quarter dies. The subsequent strikes have effaced the undertype design, but the diameter and reeded clad edge confirms the undertype. It was the two strikes from quarter died, the coin rotated 100 degrees counterclockwise relative to the obverse side. From the first quarter strike, we see Washington's cue within his hair from the first strike. On the reverse, the drummer's left facing hand remains from the first strike. The coin has two small border splits at 7.30 and 10 o'clock, and traces of copper interior are apparent along the reverse border. It was sold for $9,000. Number 2 here is 1943p Jefferson Nichols struck on a zinc coated steel planchet, graded as AU55 by PCGS. According to Stax Powers, an originally preserved example with both sides exhibiting ruddy pewter and olive grey patina. The strike is flush to the upper left of worse border, lower left reverse border. The right peripheral device is mostly off the planchet, but the base of all four digits in the date is discernible to support PCGS. 1943 attribution. Those design elements that are fully present are sharp and the eye appeal is strong. Associated by the date with the famous 1943 bronze Lincoln Sands, this wrong planchet error is also desirable due to its brevity of the wartime silver alloy Jefferson Nichols series of 1942 to 1945. It was sold for $2,640. 
number one, and this is 2001, the Lincoln sent milled with Roosevelt time reverse, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. A mill is a coin struck from mismatched dies. In the long history of US mint, only a few dozen mills are known, and many are unique. Among the many mill possibilities in American numismatics, the Lincoln sent Roosevelt time mill is most likely to occur. The diameter for cent 90 mm and dime 80 mm are close, and both types have high annual mintage, often a billion or more pieces. Nonetheless, mules are great rarities. This illustrious fire red gem with noticeable contact, the upper half of obverse and the reverse field near the base of the torch, exhibit, distribute, minuscule, flex. It fetched a sum of $66,000 at auction. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating and daily updating coin related content. Have a nice day.